We've just uh, heard uh, words from a member of the WHO team uh, to Wuhan. So let's look at a big picture. Uh, based on all the information you've uh, gathered, uh, do you think China has uh, been open, transparent and cooperative with the WHO mission? The WHO team is about a month in Wuhan. Basically, they actually are highly purpose focused, trying to find out how this actually uh, the pandemic happened and where the orange, uh, origin of the virus might be. So uh, the WHO team, which is the multinational team with uh, expertise in public health, epidemiology, and also virology and other areas as well. I mean, uh, this is a highly professional team trying to focus and uh, find out what actually uh, is it is it happening. Uh, the team actually had a basically unrestricted access to the data, to the um, to to various uh, hospitals and clinics, and also to a number of uh, markets which actually uh, were related to the to the original outbreak of the uh, pandemic. So um, the team collected enormous data, looking at the the logistic uh, relationship uh, on the uh, on the. On the yeah. pandemic, so they actually um, had a quite a comprehensive investigation of the 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 uh, the entire events. So you can see that um, as uh, Peter Daschuk just uh, talked in the. Um, uh, to the to the media that you know they all get their unrestricted access and basically when they produce the 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 requirement on the list and every requirement is met by the uh, local authority uh, i think overall the chinese government has been open and transparent in this issue and the, basically they provide a highly supportive um, uh, edit uh, you know, attitude in terms of uh, this uh, fact funding mission. So uh, I think the, the conclusion is uh, is highly professional, scientific, uh, and basically I have no questions that they have uh, uh, obtained all what they need to uh, get their conclusion. So you are a public health expert, and what do you make of some Western media's uh, twisting of uh, those WHO uh, team members words and it seems i'm not saying that there is a real link but it seems that uh, these kind of twisting are in synchronization with comments from uh, some western politics for example u.s national security advisor jake sullivan's so-called statement on the uh, trip to wuhan from the who what's the real purpose here well, actually, this is uh, uh, very much driven by geopolitics. Uh, uh, this whole thing started as a, a few politicians proposed that this virus came out of the Wuhan uh, laboratory uh, without any evidence, without any scientific support. And this uh, uh, conspiracy theory was not supported by scientific community either. Uh, the, the other problem is that uh, the Western, some of the Western news media basically uh, promoted the whole thing and uh, blew it out into uh, some kind of, you know, um, uh, a global issue. I think this is the absolute waste of the, uh, the public resources in terms of uh, dealing with this kind of conspiracy theories. But uh, unfortunately, you know, when the WHO team found, um, uh, conducted such an investigation and uh, reached their conclusions, uh, still some of the Western media remain to be uh, committed to their such a self-serving uh, uh, ideas that uh, they, they don't believe the conclusion. I read the New York Times report that this is uh, such a piece of, um, you know, a self-serving article uh, twisting the, the fact and then basically uh, fragmented all the information provided by the uh, by the WHO team and then constructed their own uh, theories that uh, they still do not believe what they actually uh, the WHO uh, provided. I think that's unfortunately a situation. I think we all should focus on uh, the, the fact funding mission and to see where the virus truly came from, how this started. This is a public health issue, not a political issue. I mean, if we find the truth, then that would help us to fight another outbreak. So, uh, you just uh, said yourself, you've read a New York Times piece and also you're familiar with those comments from some Western politicians. How damaging is this uh, to the scientific community and the scientific approach that many countries are urgently needed right now? 
Well, uh, this de uh, definitely is uh, is highly damaging because uh, for scientific research, we all know that we need a collaboration, we need to uh, uh, information exchange, and need a trust as well, uh, particularly in the area of public health and epidemiology. We know that the virus has no borders. The borders. I mean, once the outbreak, then they will quickly cross into other countries. That's why we need to build up the trust and, and interact and cooperate in issues like that. So when you have a uh, conspiracy theory like that, and that basically um, if those theories are unchecked, and uh, uh, that would uh, definitely uh, damage the scientific collaboration spirit. So I think in the long run, it would have a far-reaching impact in this area. Thank you very much, Professor Wu Zhiwei in Nanjing.